Good evening. We invite you to watch the English news on Essential Television Channel of Đồng Nai Province. In Đồng Nai, after two years of eliminating decision number 131, the education sector has achieved some outstanding results in eliminating digital transformation, thereby contributing to improving the quality of education, ensuring all activities in training organization and management towards sustainable development. According to the statistics from the United Department of Education and Training, up to now, 1% of educational establishments have at least one broadband internet connection. Basic connection speed ensures the performance of relevant tasks. 1% of general education establishments are equipped with computers, televisions, projectors, and advanced equipment for teaching and school management. Every year, the Department of Education and Training deploys and organizes training and fostering for managers and teachers in management skills and organizes online teaching. On the basis of project approved by the People's Committee of the Province, the Provincial Department of Education and Training recently signed and launched the database of the Education and Training Center of the Province and the Education Management System, ENFIC. When put into operation, this system will ensure to serve all educational management agencies, provide management information of the educational sector, fully and comprehensively connect data from educational institutions. According to metric forecast in the second quarter of 2024, total sales of the five largest online retail e-commerce platforms in Vietnam will reach 84.87 trillion dong with 882,012 million per user sold, increased by 19.2% and 13.57% respectively compared to the first quarter of 2024. This is a completely achievable goal when the market has had a very positive start. The market's peak business season will accelerate for the second quarter of 2024 with an increase of 19.2% compared to the first quarter of 2024, equivalent to an increase of about 78% compared to the second quarter of 2023. Therefore, businesses need to have appropriate production and import plans right from the beginning of the year to avoid falling into a situation of not having enough goods to supply to the market, thereby reducing revenue and market share. It is forecast that in the second quarter of 2024, total sales of the five largest online retail e-commerce platforms in Vietnam will reach more than $84 trillion with over 880 million product units sold. This is a completely achievable goal when the market has had a very positive start. In long term, Mr. Nguyen Phung Lam, head of UNET ECI Market Research Department, forecasts that Vietnam e-commerce industry will still maintain its growth momentum with GMV in 2025, which is expected to peak at $16.8 million. US dollar. This year, April 30th and May 1st holidays take place for five days in order to serve the entertainment needs of people and tourists. Departments, sectors, and local offices in our province have organized many attractive cultural and sport activities throughout the holidays. Special art programs, contests, film screening to learn about history and culture of the night people, are diverse and attractive sport and entertainment activities. Many cultural activities have been organized by sectors and local offices in the North province to serve the entertainment needs of people during the holiday from April 30th to May 1st. In meanwhile, the city organized the Cultural Sport Tourism Festival from April 25th to the end of the May 1st. In large parks in the city, there are also activities to display and introduce books, regional full stones. The organization of cultural and sport activity creates a useful cultural space, contributing to stimulating tourism demand. On April 27th, Friendly Sportman Dimitri Peskov outlined a range of views regarding recent developments in Russia's relations with other countries, 
especially with Ukraine and European Union EU. About Russia-Ukraine relations, Bedkov said that currently no grounds for peace talks between Russia and Ukraine due to Kyiv's official refusal to negotiate with Moscow. Under EU sanctions, Pekka said Russia would explore ways to bypass any unauthorized sanctions imposed by the EU on its liquefied natural gas or LNG activities. The statement came after three sources within the EU said on April 25th that the European Commission next package of sanctions is expected to include restrictions on Russian LNG for the first time, including a ban on Russian LNG shipments within the EU and measures on three Russian LNG projects. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese said on April 27th, violence against women is currently an epidemic in Australia. Mr. Omnis expressed his view when thousands of Australians on the same day took to the street to participate in the protests in Sydney and many other major cities called for tough laws against gender-based violence crimes. The marches were motivated by a wave of violence against women, which according to Australian government statistics, has resulted in a woman being murdered every four days in the beginning of the year. Participating in a march in Sydney on April 27, people called on the government to issue harsher penalties for acts of violence in general and acts of gender-based violence in particular. Some marchers held up signs such as respect and no violence. In Adelaide City, about 3,000 people gathered at City Hall to express their views that they no excuse for violence against women. Responding to the wave of marches against violence, Prime Minister Albanese said he participated in a march in the capital camper on April 28th. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.